Hey, this is Guy from New Plastic, and this is a quick tip on getting procedural snow in Octane. Made another cute little slush pack on my gumroad with a bunch of fully procedural slushy materials, melting slushy snow, rocky snow, dirty snow, and a few more. Link is in the description. Video is our second Patreon pick, so it's even more special than ever. If you want to choose future tutorial topics, consider supporting on Patreon. You'll get many cool perks, and most importantly, you'll help me make more and better content. Shout out to all these amazing patrons and members on screen. Love your ass to death. Follow me on Instagram at ojank, subscribe, hit the bell, share, comment, clean your desk, make it nice. Let's go. So I have a sphere, it's seven centimeter radius, which is about an average snowball size. Real life scale is very important, know your scale. I added a little bit of displacement deformation and also I have this backlight here to add a little rim light and another key light from the front side. You can pause to see the kernel settings and definitely can bring down specular depth and scatter depth. I'm compressing highlights and bringing down exposure a bit and no post effects. Okay, let's add a universal material, BRDF mode to GGX, bring down metallic, Let's increase the IOR by a tiny bit. I know it's just water, but really there's other mixed stuff in the snow as well. Tiny, tiny bit of roughness. And let's make the albedo black. It'll help us see the displacement detail a bit better. Which brings us to the next step. Let's add the displacement node, change it to vertex type, set height to about three, set mid level to 0.5, turn the subdivision level pretty high, maybe four, but we'll up it more later. Let's add our first noise. And we'll turn off the contrast, turn octaves all the way up and the omega pretty high. We want a lot of detail and bring gamma slightly down. Then we'll add a gradient node, make the black a bit brighter and we want to crush the whites a little. And let's see how we look in and just adjust the scale and the whites. Maybe bring down the displacement height a bit, up the gamma and get more black detail. And actually, let's up the subdivision level and turn on auto bump. And yeah, now you can really see all the detail coming out really cool. Okay, let's add another noise and let's mix them with a mix node. Bring down octaves, turn up omega. Scale it down slightly, then add a gradient node. And the mix node essentially mixes them both equally. So you can see we have texture two on its own, texture one on its own, and both of them mixed on top of each other. Cool. Let's edit the gradient of the top noise and make the white slightly gray. And you can see we get all these different levels of details, which is really nice. Sweet. Let's add another mix node, plug everything into the texture two, then add another noise node, plug it into the texture one and solo it. Here we're going to add all the very tiny detail to really get that snow crystal-y look. So let's up the contrast, change the type to circular, scale it way, way, way down, up the octaves and keep omega kind of low, up the gamma to get more blacks and actually bring down the contrast. I want to get more grayscale detail going, maybe bring up the omega for even more detail. Cool. Let's add yet another noise, plug that into the amount. So the whites here show texture two and the blacks here show texture one. Let's up the contrast, scale it down, bring omega up and octaves down. And if we look at it, now you can see all this tiny crystal detail is showing through. Really cool. And let's add a gradient node and we can make it more subtle by making the whites darker. Also, let's scale it down even more. And if we zoom in, you can see all this crystal detail. And obviously, if you're really zoomed in, you want to up the displacement subdivision level for a higher resolution. Nice. Let's turn on transmission. Add a random walk medium. Add a float to the albedo, turn to one, which is basically full white. Then add an RGB spectrum to the radius and make it a very, very light blue. And we can up the density as well. Obviously depends on your object scale. Sick, we're almost there. Last thing I'll do is plug the tiny crystal noise to the coding channel. And now we'll start getting these extra specs of highlights that Snow has. And I'll even up the IOR on the coding layer to emphasize it even more. Let me just up the exposure a bit and look how beautiful it is. Perfect snow for the hot days of August. Now I'm going to go for a hike in the scorching sun. Next tutorial will be about a procedural way of getting snow surface with rocks. So stay tuned. 
Check out the slush pack on my Gumroad. Consider supporting on Patreon. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.